In this video, I want to show you my Excel redaction toolbar. Now I thought I finished making toolbars, but apparently not. Excel redaction toolbar is a help to people who manually edit Excel files for redaction. Now I can't say I approve of doing this, but I've seen people that go into Microsoft Excel files, they find privilege information, they manually blank it out, they resave Excel file and produce it that way. Well, Excel redaction toolbar is help for people who do that. Let me show you how it works. Here I have Excel file that I plan to redact. I click on my redaction toolbar, which is built right into Microsoft Excel. And I'm going to go from left to right uh, as a sort of a general workflow. First, what I want to do is unhide any sheets. Before you start redacting, you want to make sure you're able to see all the data you're going to be working with. So right now I have only two tabs on the bottom. If I click unhide sheets, I have uh, four. Next, I may want to remove formulas. If you have data that contains formulas and you remove certain cells, uh, the calculations will fail. So in this case, I have a column that contains formulas. If I highlight it, I say remove formulas. Now you can see these are the actual raw numbers and they will not change based on something else being modified. Once I got my sheets and formulas taken care of, now I can start performing the redactions. There are two types of redactions, standard or horizontal or vertical. If I go to a different tab and I select a number of rows, I can click on standard redaction. Excel is gonna warn us that it's removing data. And now our cells have been all merged together and they were replaced with the word redacted. And there is a border around those cells. We can also perform a vertical redaction. If we highlight some cells, we can click vertical click OK to prompt, and now it says redacted vertically. We can, of course, change fonts that we use here. So if I go and change my font to something like 72, and I can change it to Calibri, I can click standard redaction, and now it's done. I can choose whether to fill uh, cells with black if I like, or I can add or not add border. As far as font choices, you can paste any font name here that you'd like. Um, these are just presets that I put there. If you go to home and you can take any font, copy the name, paste it. There you go. It'll work just fine as long as you turn the black fill off. Uh, let's do that again. There you go. Once you're done redacting your Excel, the last step would be is to run document inspector. We'll save and we'll go to file and we'll click on check for issues inspect document this is where you want to run for any kind of metadata track changes anything like that that's hidden in excel and once you finish analyzing document inspector's result you can click on remove all to remove document properties and personal information close it save the file and then you can either reprocess it or produce it or whatever your workflow is going to be. And that's it for my Excel redaction toolbar. Thank you for watching.